Hi friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I'll be showing three types of making bell sleeves, which is very much trending now. Got couple of requests to show the same, so let's quickly start with the draft pattern using the normal sleeve draft pattern, which I've shown in my earlier video. If you haven't watched it, the link is in front of your screen. Please check out. I've transferred the measurements on this piece of chart. Mark your elbow length measurements from the biceps here it is 12 inches I marked from the top of the sleeve 12 inches on that point mark the straight line now measure the length of the sleeve open here in my case is 10 inches equally dividing 10 in 5 equal parts so with the gap of 2 inches mark Mark the vertical lines connecting to the straight line. If you see here, we haven't made any changes on the biceps till the elbow. You'll be having the same fittings as your sleeve have. This technique is called as slash and spread technique. Now start cutting on this marked lines till the straight line. Now I'll show you how to spread on this paper. Lay the draft pattern and start spreading the trimmed strips. I'd be using the tape to stick so that to keep in place. Now start spreading the strips equally. Stick with the tape. So the bell sleeves will be elongated from the elbow to the sleeve open. I haven't made any changes from the top of the sleeve to the elbow. So in this pattern if you notice, you would be getting the tight fittings from the top of the sleeve to the elbow length. When you are spreading, you will get the folds like this. Let it be just spread and stick to draft the pattern see I have stick all the strips with the equal length So done with the spreading. If you are marking on the fabrics, you have to give the same allowances. How much we have given to the sides of the bodies, that much we have to give here. The distance between the strips should be marked like this. To this whatever we will give the side seaming elements for the bodies, the same 1 inch I will be giving the seaming elements here. We should give the markings on two layers if you are doing on the fabrics. Now start cutting on these marked lines.
so this is how our draft pattern would look the back side is the back part of the sleeve and the front you can see the little deep cut curve this is how the bell sleeve would look now I'll be showing how to transform these measurements on the fabric this is one end of meters fabric with two folds and four layers towards wrong side the fold of the draft pattern should be kept on the fold of the fabric give the markings of this draft and cut accordingly now let's quickly start with the second type of bell sleeve now this time we'll extend this slits till the top of the sleeve margin line so if you want to go for this pattern from the sleeve opens till the top of the sleeve margin line you have to give the markings and cut accordingly this is so simple and easy to do and we are not making any changes in our measurements using the slash and spread technique we can easily draft this pattern now extend the slits till the margin line of the sleeve markings ensure do not cut beyond that margin line Now in the same way as the type 1 pattern, we have to spread it to the equal gaps. Supposing this is the fabrics, now I will show you how to spread the draft pattern on this. I am taking two layers of papers, start spreading equally the draft pattern. Once you spread the strips, it would look like this. Just to keep in place, stick it and start giving the markings. cut on the marked lines if you notice here you have given the extension or flare till the top of the sleeve that means you won't get the tight fittings it's a full flare bell sleeve strap pattern Now if I fold in the center, you'd notice the extended bell sleeve and also the front curve of the sleeve. Now we'll place this fold on the fold of the fabrics and cut accordingly. Now if you see here, this is the first pattern. You'd have the tight fittings from the top of the sleeve to the elbow. From elbow, you'll get the flare for the first pack. And now coming to the second pattern, you can see the loosen or the flare of the full bell sleeve. Now I'll show you the third pattern which is detachable. That means we'll prepare the bell sleeve separately, then we'll join to the normal sleeve. So the normal sleeve length I'll be taking is 12 inches. This length is from the top of the sleeve to the elbow length. And you have to take two pieces separately give two folds of four layers like this now the sleeve open should be laid it diagonally and give the markings of the sleeve open here it's five inches that five inches you have to give the markings here now the bell sleeve length here i wanna is eight inches 
After that, I'll be adding one more inch for the seaming elements. Mark nine inches. Place it on the marked line and mark nine inches accordingly. Join all the points with the curved line. You'll get the curved shape like this. Now cut on this marked lines. Now I'll join this bell shape to the normal sleeve to complete this pattern. Instead of circle, you can also give the gathers. I hope this craft pattern is useful to you. Do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe and also hit the bell button to receive future notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.